Ten regular season lived up to the hype. Number two Penn State and number six Ohio State. And Chuck, when I say it lived up to the hype, it lived up to the hype on the very first play. The first play, they kick it to the wrong guy. That's <laughs> what? He housed it. No coverage. All the way to the outside. He's done this before at high school. Really yeah. That's Saquon Barkley going 97 yards on the opening kickoff, which means Urban Meyer and the Buckeyes have some work to do to the second quarter now. Penn State's up 14-3. to three. Howard, there goes that man again. He is outstanding. And we start talking about giving them the bat of football. Basketball trying to get the short pants already. <laughs> He just does a tremendous job down the sideline. He's so explosive. 36 yards for another score. So he's your clear-cut Heisman frontrunner, right? Well, JT Barrett might have one or two things to say about that. Beautiful ball to Terry McLaurin. And all of a sudden, JT has more touchdown passes in his career than any QB in Big Ten history. Wow. At halftime, it's 28-17 Penn State. It's sorely here with his team up by eight. Huh, throws it up to DeAndre Tompkins, and it's called an interception for Denzel Ward. But look at it again, guys. What's the right call here? The right call is Ty goes to the runner. Ty goes to the receiver. Yeah, you want to play baseball. <laughs> We're covering everything. We're getting it all in. Touchdown. They overturn it and say, yes, indeed, it was a catch. Hang in there, Urban. Fourth and 11, Penn State is punting. Denzel Ward says, not anymore. Oh, the dreaded double call. Locks it. It's recovered by Dante Booker. There's some momentum for OSU. Two plays later, JT Barrett, who had an incredible fourth quarter, finds Johnny Dixon over the middle. Touchdown. Buckeyes down by just eight. Penn State gets a field goal to make it 11. Barrett gets the ball back. Four and a half to play. To Dixon again in the end zone. They go for two and don't get it, so the Buckeyes are down by five. Penn State is forced to go into a three and out. Barrett gets the ball back. Less than two minutes ago, he's looking for Marcus Baugh, and he found him for a score, and OSU takes their first lead of the game in the closing seconds. Another two-point conversion fails, so that means Penn State has a chance here just needing a field goal but it's fourth and 15 McSorley under pressure incomplete pass comeback complete Buckeyes win Jenny Taft with JT Barrett